Even though samples are recordings of real instruments, sample library developers sometimes take creative liberties in the way they manipulate or record samples and map them across the keyboard. For example, here I have three tracks set up so that each one is playing back a single solo violin note, each from a different library. Listen to the three sounds and ask yourself which one sounds the most realistic, track one, two, or three. Well, the answer is track three, the Friedlander violin. No, it's not as beautiful sounding as the other two, but it's the most true to life. Listen once again. And here's why it's the most realistic out of the three. In this example, each track is triggering a sample of the lowest note on the violin, a G, which can only be produced by playing the open G string. On the first two tracks, that G had a nice rich vibrato, but on all string instruments, including the guitar family, vibrato can only be produced when a note is fingered and the lowest note on the G-string that can be fingered and given vibrato is G-sharp. Now there is a way for players to fake vibrato when playing a note on an open string, and that is to place a finger on one of the other open strings and produce the vibrato movement on that string. However, it's not always practical or even possible to make that move, and it also doesn't produce nearly as rich of a vibrato sound. Here's an example where all of the fingered notes can be and are given vibrato, except for the notes played on the open D string. Now here's an interesting variation on the ending. Because the second to last note is being fingered on the D string, the performer is in a good position to add the fake vibrato on the last note played on the open G. Unlike the other two libraries, the Friedlander violin doesn't produce vibrato unless you ride the mod wheel. So that gives you a great deal of control over which notes get vibrato, and interestingly, the style of vibrato, including a setting called open string, which does a pretty good job of simulating the sound of this fake or open string vibrato. Experienced composers and orchestrators will be aware of what kind of sound to expect when writing notes that can only be played on open strings, or indicate on the score, or simply request that the musician perform the open string vibrato, even though they know that it won't produce the same warm tone as a fingered note. However, if you're less experienced writing for violin, and you use a sample library that has heavy vibrato on the open G, or you add it yourself, as with the Freelander, well, you may be in for a bit of a surprise when those low Gs you wrote don't sound nearly as rich as in your mock-up. Now, should these sample library developers, you know, be, be admonished for presenting us with a false picture of things? Of course not. There's no crime being committed in creating a sampler instrument that has a beautiful and consistent tone across the keyboard, even if that means that the G string doesn't sound 100% realistic. And to be fair, the East-West solo violin has a non-vibrato selection that you can switch to if you want open string notes, or any other notes for that matter, to be played senza vibrato.
And coming up next on How Samples Fake Us Out, more ways that samples fake us out. <laughs> 